heard it said this is the most wonderful time of the year. It's also the busiest, most frazzled and frantic and hectic time of the year as well. Hi, I'm Ron Price. So glad to be back with you for another installment of CPR, Conflict Prevention and Resolution. Back where it all started, by the way, at the home of Safe Communities, Greg Allen, their executive director behind the camera. Safe Communities is all about helping us to be safe as a community in a wide variety of ways. I want to talk to you this time about being safe at home and especially during Christmas when you're going to have family over or whatever holiday you might celebrate this time of year. Again, it could be a joyful time seeing people we haven't seen in a while, people we love, we care about. But boy, those are also people we can get awful upset with and, and some dangerous things can happen at Christmas time. It's a sad reality. So I want to share with you a thought that it's a chapter in my book. Don't ask me which one. I haven't read the book yet. I wrote it, but I haven't read it. But it's a chapter about grab your thumb. We've talked in earlier episodes of, of how we have a thinking brain and a, and a feeling brain, or at least components of our brain that think and that feel. And, and we need both of those, but if we do our thinking from our feeling brain, we're probably going to be in trouble. We're going to do road rage or relationship rage or, or something we're going to regret. So an antidote to that, a protective prevention against that, is to grab your thumb. When you're upset, Somebody has said something, somebody has done something, things didn't go your way, whatever, and you're starting to get upset. You're leaving your thinking brain, getting into what's called the amygdala and the emotional part of your brain. You, you better watch out because you're capable of doing or saying things you really don't want to do or say. So when that happens, as soon as you recognize that, grab your thumb. Your thumb is kind of an anchor. But more importantly, look at your fingers and ask yourself some questions. All right, why am I upset? What's going on here? Most importantly, what should I do? What's the best possible response I can make, or reaction, if you will, to whatever it is that's gotten me upset? Folks, what that's doing is forcing you to leave your emotional brain, get into your thinking brain, and you're much more likely going to make a good decision. You're not going to just come unglued on that friend or relative who has just offended you. You're not going to attack some stranger because they cut you off in traffic or, or took your parking space at the store or whatever. Again, Christmas, this time of year, can be a wonderful time if we can stay in control and not let our emotions, being tired and upset and all those things, impact our behavior. So when you're starting to get upset, grab your thumb, look at your fingers, start asking yourself some questions, especially, all right, what should I do in this situation? I think you're going to like the results. I hope so. Give it a try.